prior to any work being done, drain the oil from the gearbox from the drain plug down below and neutralize or flush out any chemicals that's in the pump head. Hi, my name is Tim Fagan, service manager for Neptune Chemical Pump, and today we're going to go through the removal of the valves in a 500 series N3 and N4, which is a stainless steel and carpenter 20 head. As you can see, the valves are located on the top and bottom portion of the head, which means your piping that comes out is not disturbed during removal. We call these easy clean valves. What comes with every pump is, is, a, is a tool kit. This tool kit, we supply an Allen wrench and a special discharge valve tool which removes the valve. The valves are located, like I said, on the top and bottom portion of the head. First of all, you remove top nut and bottom nut. As you can see, the caps have O-rings, but for now, we're going to put these to the side. Next, the tool kit again comes with an Allen wrench and a special discharge valve tool. We're going to remove the discharge valve first with the Allen wrench, which we're taking out the, what we call the ball retainer. You can see the ball retainer. You see the way it's machined. We'll get to that in a minute. Put that aside for now. And we get the special tool. You see the half moon with the two notches. We'll put it in to the top of the valve. You'll see the two notches on the top of the valve and we'll start to turn. If it's too tight, you use the Allen wrench to put through the hole to release the tightness and get the valve out with the tool. And you'll see what I mean by the two notches. You'll see the one, two notches, special tool with the two notches goes right in over the top ball. We'll put the, that valve to the side. Now we take our quarter inch Allen wrench, go from the bottom. You'll feel the Allen wrench go in and we want to turn and remove the valve. Now we're going to remove the O-rings from the discharge, the suction, the discharge cap, and the suction cap. As a discharge valve, you can see, you can remove it with your fingernail. You see the recessed area. You'll see a little bit of grease inside the recessed area. That's there to, for tackiness so the, so the O-ring stays. So we'll remove this one. Suction valve, same as discharge. You see the grease. Discharge cap, remove, put aside, suction, uh -huh. put aside. Replacement O-rings, the larger ones, they're the same O-ring for the suction and discharge, doesn't matter. Same as the valves, suction valve, go right into the recessed area. Same as discharge. Now I'm going to put in the suction valve. You put it in, start the thread, and you get your Allen wrench, quarter inch again, same one. and you'll feel it when it starts to get close and you'll feel it tighten up. That's where you want it. Now generally I might just give it a little bit more by turning the valve, the, the, the wrench a little bit 
and just make sure you got a nice tight seal with that o-ring. Now the suction cap. Start the thread. Now once you get start and get close to tightening, there's a little groove that's inside. You'll feel it. You'll feel the o-ring go in. You don't want to pinch it. And once you're in, you'll know it. If you're pinching it, you're all, you'll also know it. You obviously get a wrench and you tighten that down. Now we're going to put the discharge valve in. To start your thread. Now the ball, the loose ball, has to go on top of the valve. You get your special wrench, same as, as you did when you took it out. You just thread it back in. And again, just like the suction valve, you will feel it seal. Okay, next is the retainer. It's important, the machined end goes down against the, the ball. You'll see T stands for top. And this retainer cap does not come with the spare parts kit, so do not discard it. You must use it again. And you just tighten it down, and you'll feel it tighten down. Next is your discharge cap. Same as your suction, place down, thread on, again, O-ring into the groove, tighten down, and you're finished. All spare parts included in the kit includes valves, O-rings, and diaphragm. And that concludes this session of replacing valves in a 500 series N3, N4, pump. PSG, where innovation flows.